Hi guys, Mr. Off Waffles here. I can't tell you where I am right now. I mean, this is a soundproof room, but I can't tell you where this soundproof room is located. For about a week or so, legally, I've signed NDAs, I'm sorry. But today, we are going to be watching the Revelations Director's Cut, the Director's Cut for The Gift that I completely forgot was coming out and is just released and... Uh, I'm super late in actually doing this reaction, and I'm so freaking excited because this is the send-off to Black Ops 3 Zombies. This is it. The ether. The infinite. The gap between the games. Oh my goodness me. The hype is real. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. I'm turning the volumes off on my headphones. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Monty? Yo, okay, cool. Yep, Kid Nikolai. Oh, he looks so sad. Oh, come on. Cheer up, mate. He's just having a wonder. Having a wonder. Oh, boy. Hello, hello, hello. That's Nikolai. He's walking. Interesting. Yep. Perfect world. Monty having a little walk. Okay. Blood filled up. Monty. I mean, Shadow Man, sorry. And the kids are like, bruh. Ooh. Oh. Return when more demons have been bred. It will not take long. Oh man. Ooh, ooh. There we go. There we go. Yeah, baby. Drop the katana. Drop the thunder gun. Drop the bingo. Drop the ray gun. Wait for that story info, man. Waiting for it. There's the corrupted keepers. Let's keep keeper protector in that case. Okay, fairly standard so far. Yep, Banshee. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Bring it. Empty blood vial. Full blood vial. Oh, are they... Oh, man. Oh, man. Hello. Hello. Wait, that's the whole thing? No way. What? What? No, what? No. Why isn't there more? Oh no! Treyarch, what have you done? No! <laughs> Man, I was so ready. I was so ready for something else. So ready for some change, some reveal, some inclusion of something. Nothing. Nothing. I'm... I, I, should I just leave? That's it. I'm gone. See you, see you later. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Really? We're going to watch it one more time, but... Am I blind? Was there something in there? Or was it just... Bit lacking? Just a bit? Oh man, I'm... I'm worried right now. Back to the start. Here we go. Second watch. Only one earbud on. Come on, Treyarch. Down in the basement. Nikolai. Looking fairly ethereal. Monty looking at him like... Hey, hey bud, how's it going? Bingo. 
becomes the child. They're one and the same, but becomes the child. Looks really glum. Okay, so he's a... Oh man, come on Treyarch, don't do this to me. Come on. Please let there be something in here. Goes up the stairs. Looks around the house. He's like, where am I? This is my new home. The perfect world. Opens the door. Same animation as we saw before. Kids are inside. They look towards him. They say, hey bud, how's it going? Sam, with the close-up shot, enters into the house with the kids. Monty going on a little walk. Characters talking to each other. A bit of tension amongst the ranks, potentially. Blood filled. Monty's just having a little walk. Shadow Man is there. Monty's like, hey bud, how's it going? Boom. Imperfect world now. Takio looks outside, etc. Oh, come on, man. Nikolai's like, this ain't, this ain't good. I will return when more demons have been bred. It will not take long. Okay. All right, I'm watching so closely right now. It's really surprised me that I really thought that there would be something in there that was going to give us a really nice tying of a knot. All we learn is that they do indeed drink the blood, which I always thought was a really stupid use for it. Drinking it. Drinking blood is gross. Really gross. And I just feel like it's just underwhelming, man. The sneak peek for Revelations, okay, and the Origins recap for Revelations. All the, we'll fight side by side, back to back, even if it's for the last time. Bum. All of that was so epic. So unbelievably epic. And then we get the map. And we get the ending which has polarized the community to a massive extent. Some people love it, some people hate it. And that was always the way it was going to be. And Treyarch are aware of that, Jason is aware of that, Craig is aware of that. They're all aware of it because it's inherently polarizing in its very nature. And all I wanted, all I ask, all I asked is that Treyarch do the right thing and give us just a smidgen, an absolute slither of something mildly related to either the future or just the next few months or just the rumors of a super easter egg or something. I was just hoping. And from what I have seen today on those first two watches that I have just done, and yes, I haven't gone frame by frame and yes, it's not ideal because I'm watching it on a small screen and stuff and I'm not like slowing it down and things like that. But from what I've seen, 
None of that is in there. Which deeply saddens me. Because this is the end. <sighs> By rights, we shouldn't be getting any more. So this was really, in a lot of ways, regardless of whether there's a super easter egg, ah, regardless of any of that, this is sort of the last bit of messaging, specific Black Ops 3 messaging, that we're going to get from Treyarch. Ever. That's it. They have just finished... Oh man, it, it's so emotional to say it. They've just finished their story. And they finished it like that? I just feel like something is missing. And whether it's a super easter egg, or whether it's some side quest in the map that we haven't found yet, but we will soon find, and then Peter will be explained, and the mystery woman will be explained, and there'll be the info about the children that we've been missing, and why Sam was taken from Maxis in the first place, that whole charade, calling his name... Oh, I was just hoping for something. Anything at all. And once again, Treyarch prove that they care not for the whims of mortal men such as I. Instead, they have their own agenda. And they do things in a way that is just sometimes a little weird. Hmm. Hopefully this hasn't felt like too negative a reaction for you guys. I'm just a little bit perplexed. This really isn't what I would be like expecting from this. It's really not. So, man, I guess I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. This has been the director's cut for the gift that I was so convinced was going to have so much more to it. And it ended up just being a montage of people killing Marguars. Maybe there's more in there. Maybe I just haven't seen it. Maybe it's because it's my first two watches. Maybe that's why. Either way, I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Thank you for watching the video. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like, leave a like, leave a like, one of those. And uh, feel free to subscribe, stuff like that as well. I've still got a lot of Black Ops 3 content left to come. Like, yes... It's the end of the game and stuff, but I have a huge amount left to upload for you guys. Some really interesting story discussion that I haven't talked about all year, but I'm finally getting a chance to talk about in the next couple of days and weeks. General sort of overview stuff as well. A couple of looks back at stuff that is still unexplained. A few more there's got to be mores in which I take things that are still perplexing and dive into depth with them and really look at where they could go in the future, and why there needs to be more to them. I mean, Revelations Director's Cut? There's gotta be more. But I'm beginning to lose hope. I guess the next few days will give us our answers. Only time will tell. I've been Mr. Ruffle Waffles, thank you for watching the video, and I will see you very soon, hopefully, in something from Treyarch that we've been all waiting for and that's just a little tidbit of something else. Yes, brackets are fine, but I want there to be something outside those brackets, damn it. I want it to happen. So, oh man, I've got to wrap things up here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.